I tag my rapper, I kill. You kill. Anytime. Every two, two years, we bury people. They will cut the baby hair and put inside the pot of the eye. That the sacrifice is not done. When the python come out, please subscribe, share, like. If you want more videos, please hit the notification button love you all thank you hello everyone this is emma from tema how are you all doing i know and i believe the lord himself is keeping us he will keep us forever as long as he wants us to live on this planet now today we are going to our own home synagogue <laughs> i mean squana let's go In the name of Jesus, what have you done to her? Her marriage, her career? Fine, in the name of Jesus, what have you done to her? Oh, I want to destroy her. This credit is a misvision. So, who are you in this body? Who are you? A old woman. A old woman. Now, stand as a old woman. This credit is a old woman. Now, walk as a old woman. L'esprit de la femme âgée. How do you operate in the family? How do you operate in the family? Speak out in the name of Jesus. How do you operate in the family? If I tied my rapper, I kill anytime. When you tied your rapper? Yes. Right. Do you hear what she said? When she tied her rapper, she kills. Let's hear what she means by that. You kill. Anytime. How do you tie the rapper? How do you tie it? Tie it. Demonstrate it. Vemos la manifestación de espíritus contrarios. So when you do that, what happens in the family? I kill. So how did you enter her body? True dream. True dream. It's time for you to go. Fire in the name of Jesus. Let's go. Fire in the name of Jesus. Remove everything. Remove everything. Fire. Including your rapper. Fire in the name of Jesus. Fire. All over your body. Fire. Your head. Your legs. Fire in the name of Jesus. Now go. Fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Fire in the name of Jesus. And that's too much. Remove everything. All you've deposited. Remove everything. Fire in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Now go. Owls! Owls! Thank you, Lord. Owls in the name of Jesus. Why in the name of Jesus Christ? <laughs> Owls in the name of Jesus. Owls in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Now go. Right in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Right in the name of Jesus. Right in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. You are going now. Out! Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Son of you are free. Il déclarait libre pour la gloire de Dieu, libre de cet esprit qui perturbait ses rêves et sa vie. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I am free. My family is free. And that was how she received our deliverance. Shall we put our hands together beautifully for the miracle working God? <laughs> Ma'am, you're welcome in the name of Jesus. Please introduce yourself and share with us your wonderful testimony. Charge, good morning. Emmanuel. My name is Cynthia Ututu. I'm from Delta State. We all started. I want to thank God for my deliverance last Sunday. 
For my family, we wash idol, family and uh, worship idol. So this idol caused a lot in my family. He kill at any time. Every two, two years, we bury people in my family. And this idol, if they deliver a newborn baby in my family, they used to dedicate that baby to the idol. And before they would name the baby, they would dedicate that baby to the idol first before they would name the baby. And after dedication to the idol to, uh, from the baby, they would cut the baby hair and put inside the pot of the idol. So, this idol torments us a lot. It caused many things in my family. So, another idol from my grandmother's side again. That one is beside the water. The water that is there is very little. When I do the sacrifice, the water will come up to my knee. But before, the water is very small. But when I sacrifice that, the idol receive the sacrifice, the water will come up. And after then, the idol used an old woman to come and torment me in my dream. And if they sacrifice that idol, if the python did not come out, it means that the sacrifice is not done. When the python come out, that is mean the sacrifice is done. So, and the old woman, Wow, my people, did you hear that? They have to sacrifice to this idol. And first of all, before then, the babies that are born in the family, they have to cut their hair. What kind of a god do you have to worship that would torment your life like that? Ah, we need deliverance. Oh, and look for a living church. And worship a God that doesn't <laughs> take stains. I mean, hair or whatever. If God created us, it doesn't need your hair. And then send old man and whatnot python to come and comment your life. Please go for deliverance and be free from all this. Be distracting me. And if he's coming, you come with the python. When I see the old woman in my dream, I will not have myself anymore again. So he started he tormenting me a lot and he killed people in my family. And since then, I've been to church on everywhere to look for a solution. No way. But last year, Anna decided to come to Synagogue of Church of All Nations. Last week, when the deliverance is going on, in my role, when the evangelist is coming, Anna started shivering. So a little while, the evangelist now come to my role. When he touched me, is when I'm watching it now that I saw it that delivered me from the idol. But before you deliver, this idol affects your life personally. Lord, torments me that I'm sick. If I go to hospital, they will not see anything. They will tell me I'm okay. I'm fine. My career, my business. And everything that I'm doing in life, the idol pressed it down. There is no avail. Even my brothers and sisters, they cannot hold anything that they are doing. That the idol torments a lot. It torments a lot in my family. So, on Sunday, and I got my deliverance. I give glory to God Almighty. That He have set my family free and me free in Jesus' name. Please tell us, after your deliverance, what are the changes you have missed in your life? A lot. After my deliverance, before I used to have people come to my dream and be tormenting me. But after my deliverance, I see that I see that woman, Python, I see that Python. My family is free in Jesus. Put our hands together for Jesus! There were some technical difficulties there, but what she's trying to say is that her deliverance, she doesn't see the old lady and the python anymore.
Yes, Mother, we celebrate you. Has done your life shall remain permanent in Jesus name. Amen. But if anybody is touching advice, instead of advice in people sitting here watching me or in the telling, my advice is there. Uh, when you have problem like this, run to God, don't run away from God because he is the solution to everything in life in Jesus name. Le Sateur du monde entier, nous en entendons le magnifique témoignage de délivrance de la demoiselle Cynthia, une délivrance des esprits de la vieille femme, de l'idole de la famille et des esprits des eaux. Elle explique qu'elle vient d'une famille adorateur d'idoles. Cette idole a tué des membres de sa famille dans une intervalle de deux ans. À chaque fois qu'un enfant était accouché dans sa famille, l'enfant était toujours dédié à cette idole. De cela, de cette, de, du coup, ils adoraient l'esprit des eaux qui se manifestait avec un serpent. Les acteurs du monde entier, elle voyait toujours cette vieille femme dans ses rêves. Elle ressentait des douleurs chez les médecins, mais il trouvait rien de mal dans sa système. Elle, elle, elle comptait toujours des déceptions dans sa carrière et dans ses relations. Venue ici à la synagogue de la nation, l'un des évangélistes a prié pour elle et elle, elle, et elle a été délivrée complètement. Maintenant, elle nachement, elle peur de Dieu. Elle conseille de venir à Dieu, car avec Dieu, tout est possible. Maravilloso testimonio de la señora Cynthia Otuta. Ella viene del estado de Delta, Nigeria. Tiene gloria a Dios por la situación. anciana que entró en ella a través de sueños, así como ídolos que la atormentaban. Nos comenta que su familia era adoradora de ídolos. Y ellos estaban en producción y desgracia en la familia. Eh, la familia solía ofrecer sacrificios a esto. Y una serpiente pitón durante estos sacrificios. Nos comenta partes en busca de una solución, ya que su salud, su carrera, su familia estaban sufriendo eh, la influencia de esto que decidió llegar a la SCOAN cuando el domingo, como vemos en pantalla, el evangelista oró por él el espíritu diabólico se manifestó y ella fue libre para la gloria de Dios. Nos comenta que ahora puede dormir tranquila, que ya no sufre pesa y que a su vida con cualquiera que se llama porque en él está la solución a todos los asuntos fundamentales de toda la gloria. Well, that is a wonderful deliverance, and we give God the glory in Jesus Christ, our Lord, and the Holy Spirit. Now, this is the end of this one testimony and deliverance. You all have a blessed weekend, blessed week, blessed month, blessed days, blessed years, and all the rest to come. <laughs> love you all, love you, love you, love you. This is Emma from Tema. God bless you all.